Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to swap out a print string with a more formal, customizable UMG or graphic interface, the Unreal Motion Graphics, something that just looks more professional. So I'm just in a blank game project right now with the open world back there. And to do this, I'll go into the level blueprint here. Let me just delete this real fast to show you how we get started. So I'm just gonna look for a keyboard event and we're just gonna go with the number one. So this is what'll trigger our graphics. Now, if I just wanted to test to see if something is working or I just wanted some really quick and super dirty graphics, I can just drag out from here and type in print string. And this has a lot of functionality and I can just, in here, I can type this is some text just like this and go compile and save and if i go into the game hit play and i press one you'll see the text is generated in the upper left corner but this text is really nothing great and it's kind of locked in that upper left hand position so we don't really want to use print string for our graphics so i'm going to hit escape and get out of this real fast so what we got to do is to create something the our actual umg our unreal motion graphics is we're just going to right click go to user widget and this will create our interface i'm not i don't need to name it anything special and then i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag on a canvas panel and what you need this for is if you just drag text on here and you didn't have the canvas panel there'd be no way to position your text block you wouldn't have any of these kind of controls so that's what you need this canvas for Otherwise, you can't really control where this is. So let's say we want to put this right in the center. I can just go here to anchor, make sure I'm on the text. But the reason it's not in the center is because it's offset here. So we just go 0, 0. And now it's pretty centered, except it's still offset. So what we have to do for the alignment is just go 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And now it's perfectly centered. And then if we click on the text block, if we want to put some better text in here, we can just go, now this is some nice text. And then we can, of course, with the font, we can, we can resize it. And we can fit it to size first. And then we can resize it a little bit if we want. We can change the color. That's why I say we just have so much more flexibility with this versus the print string but let's say that's all we want to do for now so I'll just go ahead and compile and save this and now we're pretty much done so if I come back into the game I can't even though it's a blueprint I can't drag it onto the scene it stays down here what I have to do is I have to tell Unreal to print this out onto the screen so what we'll do is we're going to go back into the level blueprint here and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the print string and now for to make our graphics, all we have to do is first call up our widget that we just created our display. And so we go create widget right here. And then we got to tell it what we want to pull up and it's that, which class. And then here we got to tell it to add it to the viewport. So it seems like this would all be a part of some sort of basic function, but you have to build this part of it yourself. If I come here and go back into the game and I hit play, now if I hit one, there's our text right there. But the thing with this text now is it stays on the screen unlike a print string does. Print string goes away. Now we want this to go away. So I'm gonna hit escape and I'm just gonna show you how we can do this, make it go away. And so we just go back to the level blueprint and then off of uh, add the viewport here, we're just gonna search for a delay, a delay. And however long you want it to stay on the screen, let's just say five seconds. And then we want it to go away, right? So we click off of this and we just type in remove from parent. Did I not type that right? Oh, it's not going to cut. See, it's not going to come from there. It's got to come from here. So I got to go remove from parent right here. So then we just drag this here and pop this into here. And go compile and save. Come back in here. Now, if I hit play and off I go, and then I hit one, there's our text, but it's only going to stick around for five seconds. And then it's gone. So it becomes essentially like this function here. Let me hit escape. This function here with the widget that you created is basically gives you a print string functionality. 
but now you have all of this control over what the graphics will look like so basically the print string is like a part pared down version of the umg and so you can use it if you're just wanting to kind of experiment and get something see if something works but your umg is really how you want your text to display on the screen so anyway take care i hope you found this helpful and i'll talk to you next time